Hello and welcome back to EV Swap. I'm Jimmy and I'm a car enthusiast. I love cars of all types, but here at EV Swap, we take cars that are gas and make them electric. Let's get into what we've been working on this week. It's a solar powered truck. So Dave got this awesome solar panel that fits here on the hood. It has a good shape to it that it blends in with the body lines. And this is gonna be laminated down with some adhesive. And this is a 100 watt panel. Dave has also ordered a solar windscreen that, that covers the, the windshield for, to block the sun. He ordered a solar panel that'll fit up here on the roof, which is gonna take up as much of this roof space as possible. We're gonna have the main solar panel array on here as sort of a tonneau cover. So we're hoping we can do um, maybe 600 or 700 watts total on the whole truck, maybe even more, maybe 800 or 900 watts of solar on the whole truck. If you have an idea of the best way to take the solar voltage, which I think is around 50 volts, or if you put them in series, you can get it up to 100 volts, maybe 150 volts. What's the best way to take that and charge the main battery, which is about 390 volts fully charged? So it needs to be safe and reliable and something that is passive, so there's no input needed from the Dave or anyone else, the solar panels, when the sun comes up, will charge it. And when it goes down, they won't. Post it down in the comments below. What is the best way to get the solar power into the main battery really easily and passively without a lot of uh, components and without having the operator plug or unplug anything. Dave's also been working on the front bumper. He's making these little cutouts, which are gonna block off these uh, vent areas here. So that's gonna be great. He's gonna do the same trick he did over here with the plastic weld and the screws. I think over here he's gonna use rivets, but we're gonna block off all six of these holes just to increase the aerodynamic drag. I think Ford in the 80s or 90s did some research and they found, off, found out that if you block off all of the um, drill passages and you only let the minimum amount of air needed, and if you do a few other things like using an air dam, you can increase the aerodin or reduce the aerodynamic drag by about 5%. So with an EV uh, that goes 100 miles, you're talking about five more miles of range. And this truck, we're hoping it'll go more like 150 miles or more. So that could add up to some serious mileage, especially if you're driving at higher speeds. So I've been working on the BMS wiring. So I got um, two of these strips now and I've got them fully wired up. So this is what it looks like when it's done. It has these nice white plastic covers that cover up everything except for where the connectors go. So this is positive and that's negative. Very convenient. Uh, this is what it looks like underneath. You can see all the wiring I've tried to keep nice and tidy and keep it within the channels. Uh, these little tabs that hold everything down and the channels and the little clips to hold everything in place. So you can see this is number 50 cell. So it goes all the way to the end of the pack here to number 90. And then I'm gonna have a jumper wire from up here, up here, um, I believe right here. And then this comes around here and it travels through the cells like that. And then this one is the most negative point. And this is um, the most positive point of this pack. And then this one connects to the most negative point of this pack and then this positive goes out to the vehicle. We need to start building the battery boxes. I have a little bit more welding to do and some grinding, and we need to make mounts to fit it in the chassis. Once that happens, we'll start fitting the modules in the boxes and start completing all the wiring. I had these holes plasma cut, and what these hold is uh, these two gray connectors are for uh, waterproof coax that will hold the positive and negative main leads between the two batteries. And then we have these two grommets here, which is going to hold the BMS wiring between the two halves of the packs. And then these blue things are uh, vents. They're gore type vents that allow uh, pressure to go in and out, but not uh, any water, moisture, dust, or anything like that. So these will equalize the pressure as the vehicle goes up and down in altitude and as the temperature changes. It's really cool. These uh, boxes are coming together. Everything is fitting really nicely. So it's just up to me to finish out the build. So if you're not, please subscribe, hit the thumbs up, and tell your friends if you think that you know somebody who's gonna be interested in this content. 
We're coming up on 2,300 subscribers. So that's really huge. Thanks again for all the subscribers and the new subscribers that have joined recently. And we'll see you in the next video.